Now the other one that I'm going to do is this one here. I thought it was really cute and I'm sure my husband will appreciate it. So I'm going to go back to actually let me go to my downloads folder and make sure I unzipped it as wifey. All right, and I'm going to extract it. And now that that's extracted, it's here. Notice it's with numbers to color. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to split that up. So let's go into make the cut. And we're going to import SVG. Now I unzip that folder. So let's look for wifey. What should be here? And here's the SVG. And notice there's three panels, so we'll open that. Now this one is going to take a little bit because I'm sure it's trying to load all those circles. Yes, it was. Because you see all of the circles are here. Okay. So I'm going to click off of it. Now one thing I've learned with Cricut Design Space, the less layers, the better, okay? And let's pop back over to the website and it says that it should be 9.3 inches wide by 6.37 high. And I'm sure that's talking about this part here, not including these numbers down at the bottom, okay? So let's go back to make the cut. And one of the things um that i do appreciate about some of these designs is they give the extra numbers so that you can change this around well in cricut uh, that kind of makes it difficult so we're going to make this easy on ourselves okay now this particular design has three panes if i can get it to slide over this is a different color from now this first pane is what it looks like all together without any color differences I guess so that you could make it all one color if you wanted to but if you move over this is where the two different colors come in okay so that you can make this one color and then this a different color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this because see that's one green paint on top of another one and that's not helpful in Cricut Design Space so I'm going to select this back square I'm going to hit delete and take that away. So now I'm left with just the dots here, green pane there, green pane there, and all of the dots that belong to those. All right. Let us do something cool to help ourselves. So we're going to select this. And all of those dots that represent the letter zero, I'm sorry, the letter zero, the number zero. And we're going to control shift S or you can go up there to file uh, and export. And we're going to save this as an SVG. So we're going to do a zero there so that it will know that just these dots are being saved as zero. So let's save that. And I'll show you why we're doing that. It, it makes it easier when you want to change this. Okay. Successfully done. So I'm going to hit delete and take those dots away. Less dots on the screen, the better. Now let's highlight the one. Control Shift S on the keyboard. We're going to make number one we're going to save once that pops up then we'll delete those dots because we don't need them we'll delete and control shift s is the same thing as going to file and export to svg same thing we'll do a three save it
and delete. Now that I've saved all of the numbers, let me show you why I did that for Cricut users. All right, so all of these dots here are pointless for me or for us in Cricut. Uh, well, no, actually, all of these are pointless for me because I'm not going to do everything in one color. But if I wanted to, I can go ahead and just save this. Control Shift S and type this in as wifey one color save and once that's saved at least we'll have it and we won't have to go through loading all of this all over again so i'm gonna hit okay and i'm gonna delete that for right now because i don't need all of that this is actually what we're working with So I'm going to select everything and bring it over. So I did control A and I just click and drag everything over. And put it on the desktop. All right. Now with make the cut, you have um, layers as I showed in the first video. So these dots each can be uh, selected separately and I've already saved all of these numbers here so I'm gonna go ahead and select them and delete them from this because we don't need them all right so this part here and this part here is what we're looking at having um, brought over into Cricut design space now if I did this the exact same way I did the squad design I would do control a select everything and then hit join down here at the bottom and that would turn it into green squares with holes in it right well the thing is mine wasn't established in 2018 so I'm gonna do undo and go back to this and first of all I want to change this green square this is entirely too big for our design so let's drag it up closer to that side there and i'm gonna do the same with this green square here and doing this and make the cut does not change uh the size of your circle all right so our squares are where they need to be um i need to change this this whole date for me is wrong so i'm going to select all of this actually before I do that let's go to um, import SVG because I want to bring in the right numbers so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do one and you'll see this flash on the right hand side to let you know that the one is indeed on here somewhere you just have to find it and it's up here so I'm gonna grab that bring it down here closer to where I need it to be which I already had a one I could have used it but just to show you how this works I'm just gonna bring it over so there's the one and now I need to import the other numbers and it should pop in right here it did because we brought this first one in and so now let's do the other number and for the most part it lines it up pretty good and the next number all right so I didn't take this off yet because I wanted to um, bring this in and make sure of where it needs to be to match up with that um, and so as we see the numbers are lined up with the bottom of the EST so I'm drop that back down and now let's go in and I'm going to do this outside of this green square because if I tried to draw a box inside this green square 
it'll select the square instead and moves the square and that's not what we want so I'm gonna select off of it and bring it up outside of the square and grab that 2018 and see now it's selected and let's hit delete I don't want 2018 so now I'll come down here and now I'll grab this and move this up into place and remember it was lined up with the bottom of the EST as you see right there and I'm going to bring mine a little closer to right there and boom so now this reflects the template that I need and as you see by me separating those numbers ahead of time it made it really easy for me to go back and import each number um, did I say letters or numbers either way <laughs> it makes it easy to go back and bring in the numbers when I need them and as I see um, the numbers should be spaced ahead of time and put in there for me this is great because this is what I need so I'm going to control a which selects everything all of the square and all of the dots and we're going to join this and make it a green square with holes instead of a green square with a bunch of dots on top all right so now that that's saved control a again select everything and I'm going to export to an SVG and we're going to do wipey and I'm going to put cricket 1999 and hit save so now that that's in an SVG let's minimize this I will go to Cricut Design Space and now remember this is 9.3 wide by 6.37 high. Okay, so I'm going to remember 9.3 wide. And let's upload, upload image, browse. That's squad, that's not what we want. We want wifey, which is here. And remember, we want wifey with two color Cricut. Open it. And there we are, my file. Let's hit save. There are instances where you'll go to save and it will not save it. I don't know why Cricut does that. And that's the subject of another video. But for right now, there's Wifey, insert images. Let's bring this in. And I did say I was going to remember why, but I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to go with the wide number. Okay. So it brought it in and now it's 25.57 wide by 8.5 high. I did say wide, but I'm incorrect in saying that because it's two panes side by side. So the wide number isn't going to work. But remember when you put in one number, which is the right number and you hit enter, it'll automatically change the other number to what it needs to be because it keeps the parameters here so let's go to um, up here again and high is 6.37 and look this is 8.5 so let's go 6.37 and hit enter and that's how high it's supposed to be and notice now it's 18.97 so um, that's these two panels side by side, which 18, 18, 19 uh, divided by two. So you're looking at um, nine and a half roughly wide and notice 9.3 wide because it doesn't, we're not also taking into account this space. So that's how I do this in Cricut and it made it, um, because I saved it all as one SVG, I could have saved each panel separately, which I probably should have done to keep it from cutting on a large mat. Um, but that's how it works with Cricut Design Space. Um, actually, really quick, let's go to Shapes. Let's go to Square. And I'll show you how to split this. We'll take it up here. We'll bring in a square. Stretch it out to cover one panel. Hold down control, select both of these and hit slice. If you didn't already know this. And it's going to make dots here, but 
that's the least amount let's delete that select that delete that and now you have two different panels so when you make it now it's showing up in two different mats instead of one really long mat so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh tutorial on how to um, use a pre-designed design in Cricut Design Space.